Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. As you know, our bishop has over the last year visited every deanery in the diocese to hear from the people of this diocese. Following these consultations, the bishop recently shared his vision with us. This vision is centred around prayer, formation and mission. This consultation was timely for Guildford. Three groups of parishioners with the involvement of the new clergy team have been reflecting on the call to prayer, formation and mission. They've taken into account the feedback offered to the bishop from our parish and their reviews have been published on our website. Monsignor Tony, Father Roy and Father Sebastian now highlight some of the points raised and some of the ways in which, if we have the right resources, can grow as people of prayer, formation and mission. The Mass is the source and summit of all we do and are. As a parish, we're very grateful to the ministers, musicians, children's liturgy, welcomers and many others. However, we need to involve more people, provide further liturgical formation and increased resources. The group reviewing formation began by noting that it is God that does the forming. We are only his instruments and it involves all of us. To be a disciple is to be one who learns. But the group noted that we need a well-planned and ongoing program that meets the needs of all parishioners wherever we are on the journey of faith. It was noted that our mission is both within in service of each other, as well as looking out to our neighbours. We need a stronger focus on the welcoming ministry and building our shared life. Support is also needed for parishioners planning their family liturgies, for baptisms, for marriage and sadly for funerals. And this is a growing pressure as the number of clergy has reduced. Lay chaplaincies need to be developed and strengthened and the bishop asked that we share this responsibility and its costs with our neighbouring parishes and the schools. Parishioners asked more focus on spiritual direction and of weeks of guided prayer. We should celebrate and develop the support offered for marriage and family life. Acknowledge anniversaries, support grandparents, organise family days. We should offer greater support to those who have been bereaved and those who have emotional mental health challenges or are facing dementia personally or in their families. People recalled with devotion the Marian and Corpus Christi processions and the Stations of the Cross and asked these too might be developed this coming year. There should be sessions to explore vocations in their many forms and encouragement for vocations to the priesthood, the diaconate and the religious life. Whether our mission is a spontaneous sharing or an organised outreach, it needs to be rooted in a prayer life and backed by the community. We are blessed in the work of the children, youth and families team and our sacramental preparation courses. But more is needed to fill the gaps between the sacraments. More flexible times of reconciliation were requested and we would want to develop the very fruitful dawn to dusk times in the various churches. We should enable individuals to own their faith and create opportunities to discern gifts and talents and equip some to lead times of prayer. We should be explicit in our faith in Christ and reflect on the ways our various works and activities speak of our faith. It should be clear that what we do is inspired by the Lord. Now we have heard the clergy reflect on the work of the parish review groups. We need to think about the additional resources this would need. The first being provision for circa £15,000 for prayer, formation and mission. Secondly, there needs to be a parish administrator which will cost around £25,000. The sum of both these amounts total £40,000. As you may know, any funds we raise are subject to a Dyson levy of 35%. This therefore means 
in order to spend £40,000, we will need to raise £61,000. 2019, a bail booklet explores this in further detail. Please find a copy in the churches or on the website.